Dropbox Business Tutorial, How to Use Dropbox Business for Secure Team Collaboration. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, you will be learning how to use Dropbox Business for Secure Team Collaboration. So without further ado, let's get started. So Dropbox is a home for all your work. You can store and share files, collaborate on projects, and bring your best ideas to life. Whether you're working alone or as part of the team, this software is perfect for you. With intuitive collaboration tools and advanced security features, Dropbox gives you everything you need to get work done on the go. Dropbox securely stores your work online in the cloud. You can save, access, and share your important content from anywhere at any time across any device. When a file is stored in the cloud, you're no longer limited to your hard drive or a single device to access your file. Everything you add to your Dropbox account is updated on dropbox.com online. And on any computer, phone, or tablet you have signed into, you have the access. So to start with, first visit dropbox.com and this is their homepage. So here, let's first check their pricing for us to have an idea if how much it costs for us to make use of this software. So here you have two different plans for personal and business. So for personal, you have the plus plan and family plan. And for the business, you have professional, standard, and advanced plan. And these are the features included to each of these plans. And when you scroll down here, you'll see the price for each plan. And as you can see here, only business plan has the free trial. And with the plan, the cheapest plan is $9.99 per month. This is for personal, the plus plan. And for family, you have $16.99 per month, and that is billable yearly. And for the business plan, you have the $16.58 per month for the cheapest plan for business. And next to that is the Standard plan for smaller teams, it's $12.50 per user per month, and the advanced plan is $20 per user per month. So these are the plans for Dropbox, and there is no need for you to worry about because they have free account for a starter. So perhaps the best way to learn how Dropbox can benefit your business is to sign up with a free starter account. This platform will give you 2 gigabytes of storage space for the free account. So let's go ahead and sign up. So from here, click on learn more. And here we can sign up for the free account. And to sign up, you just need to sign up with your Google account. Or you can simply fill out this form. So let me just connect my Google account here. That is more easier for me. And then here, just click on create and continue. And then the next thing that you need to do is that you can have 30 days free trial for the personal plus plan and also for other two business plan. But here, if you select this free trial, then you need to provide the billing information. So I don't want to do that. So let me just go ahead and continue with the free 2 gigabyte plan, the basic plan. And the next thing here, you just need to answer these basic questions. What will you most likely do with the Dropbox? And then who will you be sharing or collaborating with? And then after that, you just need to download the Dropbox app to your device. And then you can install it. But for today, I will just go ahead and continue with the online web access. So now, finally, we are now here in our main dashboard. And here you can create a folder. And then you can easily upload your documents here, like Word documents, Excel, or a spreadsheet, videos, images, and many more. So here you can easily organize all your files in one place and have it secure so that everyone in your team have access to the file anytime and anywhere. And here also you have option for someone who you share the file with to have that person only view the file or also allow that person 
to do edit on the file that you shared. It's up to you and you have the control of the file that you shared. So this is a great platform for you to share and collaborate with your team since you can put all your files in just one place for everyone to have access. Also, this platform has a great security measures. So Dropbox uses excellent security measures such as top-notch encryption and two-step authorization. The system also provides a 30-day history of files in the event something is corrupted or altered, allowing for an easier restore which is really good because sometimes we accidentally um, delete some files and we will be having hard time of restoring it, especially in our own computer. But here on Dropbox, you can easily restore your file that accidentally deleted. And also here, just to show you how this tool works, we can upload a file here from our PC or computer. So first, let's create a folder. And then let's upload some files. So I already have my files uploaded here. So what you can do now here is that you can simply share your files here to your team or to anyone. So you just need to have this file check or maybe you ask someone to edit the file. Then you can do this. So click on share and then just enter their email here. And also you can copy the link and just change the link settings here to view only or you can also allow the person to do edit for this file. So I will just go ahead and uh, skip this one. So with this platform, you can save more money as well because you can make use of paperless and also no more waiting for files or documents to arrive in your office and have your team or employee do nothing because everyone can share the documents and file easily and faster with Dropbox. And you can also access it anywhere in any device. And also you can easily request file from your team or to anyone here on Dropbox. So just go to file request and here you can go to new request and here just provide a title, explain what the request is for and then write the description. It's just an optional. And here you can select or create a folder that you want to upload the files that you requested and then just click on create and here just provide the email address of the person that you want to request the file from. Or you can just simply copy the link and send it to the person that you requested the file. That's how easy and fast you can make use of the Dropbox for your business. So you may go ahead and make use of the free account for you to explore and have experience of the Dropbox software. And I guess that's all for today's video. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. And thank you for watching.